Right, I thought I'd done a rundown of the uh, DigiSmart 4 channel proper encoder, but I found out this morning that I haven't, so uh, this is a bit of quick catch up. This is a DigiSpark, this is how they're supplied. It's a three quarter inch square board, but with this extra uh, USB connector tagged on the end, it's part of the board. No metal shroud, but that just wedges into your USB port, and you can program them via USB. Um, however, that's um, that's a bad thing for us because the bootloader that uses that gives you that facility um, takes a full five seconds to boot, so that's bad. So we program it using IS ICSP, like um, all the rest of the Arduino's, <coughs> and this redundant connector. In fact, I, I saw it off. We, there's no point in having it; it just takes up space. So what you're left with is a three-quarter inch spare, uh, three-quarter inch square board which is small and convenient but easy to use because the pins are still one tenth standard spacing so there's plenty of room there and in fact any that I supply I attach all the wires and heat shrink it so it's it's ready to go you just connect your pots to the pot wires pot cables RF module to the RF module cable buzzer battery so that's it's just a case of soldering these leads up and that, that's how I supply them so, um, this Digi Ace is converted, it's on 35 megs actually. This is converted using a uh, one of these DigiSpark 4 channel encoders. It's in my Easy Start mode, which is just 3 channels, but it will uh, it'll do to demonstrate. So, we have rudder, elevator, and throttle. Uh, um, reversing is as usual by switching on with the stick held over so that's reversed elevator reversed, rudder reversed so that's elevator corrected, rudder corrected um, throttle, it also does single channel emulation, it's not wired in this one um, because this is just a simple four channel set but it does have the full four channel um, Sorry, it does have the full single channel escapement emulation built in as well. Um, the only difference from the other sets is that you must use a brake uh, button, a push to brake button. So that's the Easy Star. Oh, any that I supply, of course, will have the buzzer as well provided. This is another one. This is the um, um, Waltron. I uh, got off eBay, absolute bargain, it's immaculate. And I put a um, orange module in this one for a change. So the, the orange just takes a little bit longer than Frisky to bind, there we go. So you've got aileron, elevator, rudder, throttle. Um, it has the throttle lock, soft lock, so if you switch it on with the throttle open, the motor's not suddenly going to burst into life. It holds the throttle shut and it warns you with this alarm tone until you close the throttle. So that the throttle is inoperative, it's held shut until you close it and then you can open the throttle. The same with the uh, Digi Ace there. Um, it also has uh, single channel emulation but again I've not fitted it because it's a simple four channel set but it, you've seen the uh, single channel emulation on uh, the other videos uh, so you know how that works um, right, let me just show something else if we get rid of these servos it's a four channel set but it doesn't actually transmit T-A-E-R gear gear and ox. It doesn't actually transmit four channels, it transmits six. What it does is internally it creates an Elevon mix for flying wing gliders, what have you. There's no need to switch it, it's there all the time, so there's your Elevon mix. And contrary to what you think, of course, it's the elevator servos that are in opposition, not the ailerons, because the, the servos are physically mounted in opposition, so the ailerons are in unison. Elevators in opposition, and that's 25% elevator, 75% aileron for a flying wing. Um, sorry, it's 60 40, that's right on this one, it's 60 40, 60% 60 aileron, 40% elevator because they're, they're quite pitch sensitive, so you don't want 50 50. 
Um, so there you go, that's the uh, that's a Waltron. Uh, and again, reversing is exactly the same. Switch on with the. Got to wait for the orange module to power up. There we go, that's reversed. Reverse it back again. There we go. So there you go. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Um, just have a look inside. Orange Fataba module, Fataba style module. Uh, there's the encoder, tiny little thing. Um, the pot there is just for trimming the uh, meter so it reads full scale. A little 2S LiPo there. And the uh, DGS is exactly the same. Full of sponge. Quite a big battery in this one, that will last forever. Uh, and there's the encoder up the top there, tiny little blob up at the top, uh, just wired to the stick units and the buzzer and the there would be a button. The button is actually in series with the buzzer, which is why it's a brake switch um, uh, on this particular one. It's because of the limited I.O. on the DigiSpark. We've, we've done reasonably well. I think we've got four proportional channels, a V-tail mix, um, inactivity timer, throttle warning, uh, uh, Elevon mix, it, it's quite a lot from a modest little DigiSpark so I think it's done very well in this case. Um, I thought I'd better just demonstrate the single channel emulation rather than just leave it hanging. At the moment the buzzer there is plugged straight into the buzzer output. So I unplug it you get right rudder which is uh, as I say it's a brake contact. I've got here a, a brake micro switch with a buzzer just wired in series so we can, we can just connect that on there temporarily. So the buzzer is still operated because the um, the switch is normally closed and it's pushed to break, so the buzzer will still work. But we've got some full single channel escapement emulation, so you've got one for right, two for left, three for kick up elevator. There you go, that's your single channel function. When I unplug this it'll go to right rudder again until I put the buzzer back in. There you go. So there you go, that's the uh, DigiSpark 4-channel proper encoder. Cheers!